A secret agent for special operations executives, meet Nancy Wake, the beautiful Australian living in France during World War II. She earned her nickname by slipping away from the Nazis like a mouse eluding cats. Brace yourself for the truth of the Gestapo's most wanted spy, the White Mouse. Why were the Nazis desperately searching for this woman, and what did she do to be worth $5 million to whoever finds her? Well, let's dig into this deeper. Born in 1912, she had an exciting life. She left home at 16, became a nurse, and inherited a lot of money. In Paris, she wrote stories and lived a luxurious life. She even learned French well and also witnessed the terrible things the Nazis did in Vienna. In Marseille, she fell in love with Henry Fiocha, and they got engaged. But when World War II started, she wanted to help Britain. They offered her a job as a lunch lady, which she didn't want, so she didn't take it. After that, she married Henry and lived a rich life, but she still wanted to fight against the Nazis. Now, being a wealthy couple who could have easily avoided the war, but you know what? They wanted to make a difference. In 1940, Henry joined the French army, while Nancy stocked up on food rations and helped feed their unprepared friends and neighbors. They even got their own cars, allowing her to volunteer as an ambulance driver. But alas, from here things would take a turn when France fell under Nazi occupation by 1942. Nancy and her husband started innocently enough, delivering secret messages and helping out Allied soldiers they met in local hotels. But soon, they were knee-deep in the French resistance, working alongside Lieutenant Colonel Ian Garrow, a British Army officer. She joined an escape network led by him, while also providing a safe house for soldiers and refugees known as the O'Leary Line. But wait, there's a twist. One day, a mysterious man named Paul Cole showed up, uninvited to Nancy's house, rudely barging in and making himself at home. He even dared to steal her fancy bottle of whiskey and snubbed her poor dog. Can you believe the nerve? Naturally, she kicked him out. But here's the kicker. She suspected Cole of being a Gestapo spy and warned Garrow, who dismissed it as a misunderstanding. Silly Garrow. Later, it turned out Nancy's intuition was spot on and Cole ended up betraying 50 resistance members, leading to their arrest, torture, and ultimate demise. Then, Nancy started to smuggle resistance pamphlets in her trusty shopping basket, cruising around on her bicycle like a regular housewife. The Nazis never suspected a thing. And that's how she kept distributing resistance newspapers and secret messages right under their noses. But in 1943, the tables turned. How, you ask? By secretly doing her job against the Nazis, she became the most wanted with a 5 million franc bounty. Time to escape. She left her husband, circling France, longing for one last meeting. But man, she was caught on a train with false identification. When the Gestapo captured her, they had no clue they had nabbed a famous spy. Interrogations turned brutal, but Nancy had a clever trick up her sleeve. She spun a tale of leaving her husband for a new life, which they doubted, blaming her for a bomb incident. Saved by her friend Patrick O'Leary, who pretended to be her lover, she escaped their clutches. After that, she went to England, where she joined Churchill's special operations executive, gathering French resistance fighters for D-Day preparations. Off to Scotland for spy training, she faced grueling endurance tests, combat lessons, silent killing techniques, and even karate chops on a wooden desk. Once her training was complete, it was time for Nancy to parachute back into France. And guess what she wore for the occasion? A camel hair coat and high heeled shoes. Being underestimated as a harmless housewife was key to her cover. Of course, the Nazis didn't think much of her either, dismissing her as a dainty woman. She had a mission to win over the Marquis, which is a nobleman of hereditary rank in Europe and convinced them to work with the special operations executives. To break the ice, she challenged them to a drinking contest. It was a wild night. Living in the forest with dudes, she turned heads, but faithful to her husband, Henry. Now, disaster struck before D-Day. Dennis, the radio operator, was caught and had to destroy the radio in a crossfire. Without communication, they were in deep trouble. But Nancy had a plan. With her bicycle, she decided to ride 124 miles to the nearest SOE radio at a chateau. Charm and flirtation always got her past many Nazi checkpoints. At the chateau, she revealed her identity as the White Mouse, urgently requesting contact with the British for further plans. Then she pedaled back another 124 miles. She herself said it was the most terrifying and proudest bike ride she has ever done. Thanks to her bravery, the Marquis received another radio, and they continued their relentless fight against the Nazis. She never hesitated, believing that the only good Nazi is a dead one. So now we're clear why she was on the Gestapo's list of most wanted. Now a question for you. If you had the chance to meet Nancy Wake, the legendary spy herself, what burning question would you ask her about? Leave a comment.